Who's a kid a kipper? I am. Welcome to the How To Craft Network studio. It's Create Together Club. Who's excited? Certainly me. How is everyone? I've been watching all of your comments. I'm so excited. I love the week's worth of inspiration for our Create Together Club. Thank you for joining me. Let's do some housekeeping. My name is Tony Darrick and this is the How To Craft Network studio and it's an amazing place to be, particularly this week. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the little bell that gives you that half an hour notice. If you are watching on Facebook, that's absolutely fine. But if you do want to interact, ask questions, the best place to go is YouTube. However, you can watch wherever is easiest for you. We are streaming on all platforms. I think it's five in total, so you shouldn't miss the show. The show never goes away, so if you're at work, please don't worry about it. You can catch the show later today, tomorrow, at your pleasure, at your leisure, um, when you get an opportunity. That's the great thing about the Create Together Club. So let's just quickly tell you about the Create Together Club. Lots of you are sat waiting to craft along because you have your stamps. It's not too late to join the club if you want to. Basically, it's a club and we send you three stamps throughout the course of the year and we give you a full week's worth of inspiration. Well, we say full week, it's seven shows. So sometimes we might put two shows in one day, but you'll get seven shows worth of content on that one stamp. So the first stamp was a note to say, which was the typewriter, which was this absolute beauty, which you all loved. You all made some incredible cards with it. You got the textured backgrounds and things like that. You got the words in there. But the one that you just have received, your second one is this beautiful floral with the textured backgrounds as well. So if you join the club, you should have both of these. If you join today, you'll get sent both of these together. The typewriter inspiration is on YouTube. You can find it straight away. And you can catch up if you want to. And then in May, you'll get your last stamp for the collection. If you want to wait to see May's um, stamp, then you can do that as well. Okay, so you could just get sent all three at once. So if you're a person that likes to wait and see what you're buying, you can do that. But if you're anything like me, you're going to just go ahead and do it and get that little surprise on your door, which is going to cheer you up if you've forgotten about it. I will do a shout out. There's lots of you on today. So these are the two stamps. Today we're going to be working, or for the next seven days, we're going to be working with beautiful notes. So if you are crafting along, are you ready with your cup of tea? Or what? Surely none of you are going to be drinking, I don't think. I think it's a little bit early for that. However, tonight at seven o'clock, I am in Studio 3. Tonight at seven o'clock, with a sneak peek of brand new products launching on Create and Craft on the 31st. Very spring. That's all I'm going to say to you. So come and say hi, seven o'clock. I have a live giveaway. So we'll be sharing, we'll be having fun and we'll be being creative. I've got a fabulous demo as well. Really different. So seven o'clock tonight, make sure you tune in for that one. But let's go straight ahead and talk about Beautiful Notes. So Beautiful Notes is a collection of a large floral and several background stamps with some beautiful sort of hoop designs. And I love a good hoop. <laughs> Not hula hoop, a hoop, because I like to be able to do spotlighting and things like that with the lovely stamps that are in there. So these are the two that you will get if you join the club today. Most of you have this one and now you have this one. And these won't be for sale as individuals. It's part of the club, okay? We have one more to go and then we're going to be doing another one. I do have a quick question for you all though before I do do the shout out. And that is... Would you like us to do some dyes? I had two messages last week about dyes. Now, two is not obviously enough to um, condone a dye, but who else would be interested in a dye? If you could let me know after we've gone off air underneath this video, if you would like coordinating dyes, one for around the typewriter and the butterflies and things on there, and then maybe one around the floral and the hoops on this one, let me know. Um, me personally, I don't think it needs it because I'm happy to fussy cut and save on that little bit of, but who would like a die? Let me know. If we get 50 plus, um, I might think about ordering some in. Okay, so just let me know after we've gone off air, would you like dies for the Create Together Club stamps? Um, and it's maybe something I'll consider. We'll think about it. So let's crack straight on. I do want to just touch on Carly's book as well. Callie's book is in my show today. So it's a lovely, lovely book. I'll just show you through some of the papers here. Just one second. Show you the patterns. Here we go. 
It's that lovely book. Lots of you have this one. Collage book with all of those lines and textures and books and backgrounds and stamps that Carly's done in her collections. Absolutely stunning. We do have a few of these still left in the collection. So check out the lovely, lovely Imala collage book designed by Carly. Shall we crack straight on? Let's do a quick shout out then. So let's have a let's so let's have a look at Facebook first today. Let's have a look at our Facebook viewers. So we have hi Susan, um, hi Margaret, hi Liz, hi Joanne. Mark Susan's from Wigan. And then let's jump on to uh, YouTube. So we have Shirley, hi Sue, hi Roxy Lee, hi Jan, hi Carol. Julie is fussy cutting, Tracy Brahimi, hi Jan. Kathy Rothera dies would be brilliant. Uh, Brian and Maureen Murphy. Julie, Maureen, Carol, Charlotte Dean. Hi, Tony and team. Kathy, love this book. I've ordered a couple more. Brilliant. I think because you only get the single pages, you need more, don't you? But you get the more designs. It's like, oh, catch 22. So, uh, hi, Karen Bradley. Where are we all from? Margaret Hughes from Chester. So excited. I've planned my day around this. Oh, that's lovely, Margaret. Welcome to the channel, sweetheart. Annette, lovely to see you, sweetheart. Audrey, Maureen, so many of you. Let's be creative. So I'm going to do two cards. And what we're going to do is over the course of the seven shows, I'm going to incorporate texture, layers, mixed media types, that soft mixed media, uh, and then clean and simple as well to show you that yes the stamp is what it is on the carrier sheet but we can do so many more things by chopping into it using our die cuts with it adding texture adding layers um, maybe zentangle maybe something a little bit different so we have Glynis from Kent Panda Crafts hi from Doncaster lovely Mark is from Peterborough hi Mark I hope you're well sweetheart so first card I think we'll go detailed let me show you where I'm going with this. I'm just grabbing some white card. So I've just got a piece of white card here. So if you are crafting along, this is the size of my card. Now, as always, you don't have to do exactly the same sizes as me. Um, you could do a five by seven, uh, eight by eight, um, whatever size you want to. But this is just short of a square, really. It's a little bit longer than a square. And I've got two matte and layers. So pink, black and white. And we're going to work on our white one today. So let's just get our stamping platform here. I'm just going to pop it in here. Now we're going to create a bit of a background. So we have our lovely textures. We've got it all going on and the choice is absolutely yours. They're just amazing textures. Okay, be really creative with this because that's why there's three different textures in here, so you really can have fun with this. So I'm going to go with the spotty today. I'm going to add some detail. So let's add some detail around our card. Now I'm going to go quite bright around the edges. I don't know why I've got two magnets. Um, let's go bright. So hopefully you'll be able to see. Let's go tealy today. So get some detail on the back of this piece of white card here oh and forgot the clock went forward yesterday really how did that happen Anne? I'm just going to turn my card around and see where the stamp is going to go I'm just creating a nice spotty textured border around my work first Nothing fancy. So who was able to um, not touch their stamp until today? Who had to have a go? <laughs> oh, so I did see somebody saying, oh, I've been playing with the elements. <laughs> this is what we're like, isn't it? Crafters. We're another breed, aren't we? Oh, Santa's saying I look good today. I don't look so tired today, Santa. <laughs> so I'm just creating a little bit of a detailed exterior on this piece of white card. Nothing fancy. 
Michaela didn't touch it. Well done, sweetheart. So when you've made your cards today, you're probably going to anyway change it up. You'll probably use a different colour. You'll make it your own. But whatever you do, make sure you share it in the Eureka fan page, OK? Because although you don't realise it sometimes, you posting your makes is encouragement for others that maybe wouldn't necessarily do so. So just posting your makes as crafters at home because everybody says, Tony, everything you do is amazing and... Trust me, it's not. But I don't think sometimes people quite believe me. So when crafters who buy the products, enjoy the products and create amazing things, it's just give that little bit of a nudge, you know, to get people involved. So I am going in with this little circle. So this is the middle circle. Now, I am short on time today because, as you all know, um, Simon's going to want to get in here at 2 o'clock. So I better keep an eye on my time. Keep an eye on my time, everybody. But I am back with you tonight at seven. So I'm just popping this ring sporadic on the card too. It'd be kicking me out. It'd be at the door. It'd be like a queue for the bus stop. I might do another one and sort of connect it so it doesn't look so sterile as just the one. You see, so we've got double rings. Need some oil on that door, ladies and gents, don't I? I know. Yeah, Carol says they came off the carrier sheet so much easier. I know, we've changed the formula a little bit, Carol. Try and make it a little bit easier because not everybody looks like uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> so there we go. I'm happy with that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to incorporate a second colour using that same ring. So if you are crafting along, I'm just changing it back to the colour. Helps if you move it though, doesn't it? I'm just changing the colour a little bit using the same ring just to give my card a little bit of texture and then we'll pop one over here I'm loving this already I like texture though as you all know Simon will be wanting his magnet back I know I know he will and we better bring back all of my tape all of my glues and all of my bits and pieces also that we'll do an exchange <laughs> he always gets blamed he said I did notice you always blame me I'm like well I don't think you'd actually have the courage to beat me up, so it's easier just to um, blame you. So now I'm taking the brick. I'm just adding a little bit more texture. I think I might go a little bit further in here. And let's change out that colour. So I'm just using the textured elements that are within that set. Let's get, um, what colour shall we go for now? What goes with teal? Let's go with a bit of orange. That just looks awesome. I love the brick. It's an absolute must. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? Right. Let's stop on the back. We can always add more detail as we go. So let's take our flower and pop it straight in the centre here. And stamp it in black true black and this is a beautiful flower so with the first stamp from the collection we did that typewriter because I don't want to do florals all of the time then we've done this one which is floral based and then your third one is not floral based which is really really cool um, so and the purpose of these sort of um, classes and things like that is to send you a surprise stamp that you wouldn't normally buy because you wouldn't know what to do look at that but because I send you the stamp and then give you that tuition it pushes your boundaries as well it makes you do something that you wouldn't normally do which is super cool 
So I'm also going to take that stamp again, the big one, the circle, and I'm going to, let's highlight this one in black. So we've highlighted that one and I'll swap out for the little one. Let's do the next one, the one that we did on the edge and we'll highlight this one. And then let's just highlight the other one as well. Like so. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to dry it off with my gun. Stop any mucky paw prints. Hi, Jeannie Quinn. Hi, sweetheart. I hope you're well. Abigail. Hi, Abigail Wainwright. Hi, Susan Straw. Michaela says she hopes the club carries on. It's really good. It is good, isn't it? I think, 30, is it 29? I think it's 29.99, isn't it, for the year? Well, it's actually short because I think it's over eight months, isn't it? Um, it's incredible value. And I think that just that surprise when you've forgotten about paying for it and you get that stamp through the door is really nice. And again, if you've lost your mojo and then you get your stamp, you know that the inspiration is coming as well. So to have somebody sort of like hold your hand and say, come on, come on, let's get you out of this sort of rut or come on, let's be creative. It's just that little little kick we all need sometimes, isn't it? Because I sometimes feel like that too. So here we go. So let's just move this out of the way. And let's bring in our dies. Now what we're going to do is we've created quite a bit of texture on our card already. So we have circles, we've got the wood, sorry, not the wood, the brick, and we've got those spots. But what we're going to do is we're going to chop it up now and elevate some of the design. So let me just show you what I've got here. So I just have a few of my mini rectangle dies. Now you'll all have rectangle dies in your stash. These are just some I've grabbed. These have actually got some stitch detail on here. And what I'm going to do, I'll just pull this into play here. So I'm just going to pick the size, the appropriate size. So we could do like a ricochet sort of effect where we go like a large so this is just showing you, it's a, it is a flower image, yes we know that, but this is showing you sometimes how you can be really creative with concept. And then this one. And then the next size down. Now if you've got circles, you could do three circles. You could do three hearts. So shall we go with this? I'll just make sure it's super straight. And we'll take this down. So I'm happy with that. You could actually absolutely go to town with abstract if you want. Shall we pop that there? What do I think about that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? So they're just sort of like your nesting um, dies there. So let's just tape these in place. So make sure they're absolutely straight if you can. Looks better if it's straight. So pop that there. Take your time to get it straight. So if you did order yours on Monday, or Friday, sorry, my apologies, um, the girls are sending them as a priority so you can craft along. So uh, if you order today, they are going as a priority, okay? So you get them in time for the next show. Oh, we try our best, we can't promise, but I will try and get them out to you so you can get involved but equally you know it's not the end of the world if it doesn't because you know postage these days is just reliability it's not great at the moment which is fine so all i'm going to do is i'm going to pop my artwork onto my mat here and then i'm going to run it through my machine and that's why you have to dry the ink. Remember to dry your ink because it'll all print and smudge and you'll have fingerprints and it'll ruin your artwork. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Karen said the circles over the flowers would look lovely with glossy accents on it. It would create like that caboose on effect. It absolutely would. So when you take it off your mat here, carefully, she says. And then we pop out all of the elements. Be careful of the tape. Hopefully this hasn't um, ruined, stuck to the card. Oh, please don't stick to my card. So peel it away very gently. Oh, well. So we have one, which is, I'm going to have to sort that out. So one. Two. So far, so good. Three. Four. Now you have to be careful with your artwork on the back panel here too, look. Just be careful. Make sure you get it so it's really low tack. Which I, did, I actually did, but you know, still. So that's that one. So if you use decorative dies that I've got that lot sort of... Oh. Come on, don't let me down. Decorative dies that I've got like the stitch on the inside, stitch on the outside. That looks cool because it decorates the back part of your stamp as well as your um, the part that drops out too. So personal preference really. And you could do this with a hidden message word. You've seen me do that lots before, haven't you, with the words um, where you put a word in there and then you build it back in so you can't see. So hidden messages are a great way. I think we did that with the typewriter though, didn't we? So I won't be doing that one with this one because I do try. I mean, I'm not a uh, knowledge of lots of different techniques, but I do try and make sure we try not to repeat if I can, unless I think that sort of stamp will lend itself really well to that technique. But normally try and do totally different. And then you're all going to have lots of knowledge on different techniques because I promise you sometimes you just need to see something you, you're a, you know you see and sometimes like the mini album I did in studio three at seven o'clock on Saturday night a lot of you hadn't seen which surprised me a lot of you said I've never seen this technique before I was like wow I've been doing this for years and years so you can see here can we see here with the whole holes in there so our artwork brilliant Right, so let's quickly get some ink. Just some ink to get rid of this sort of harsh white line on here. I'm just grabbing a piece of cardstock. I'm just going to add some teal around the edge. Just to get rid of the um, white edge. Not that it matters too much because we're going to be popping it onto black. Just to draw your eye in a little bit. Hi Marilyn, she's a little bit late, don't worry about it sweetheart. Hi Riona Richards, afternoon sweetheart. So just edging your design. I think we're good to go just to get rid of that harsh line so let's get this card put together so let's so we still have some bundles of the glue available if you didn't get your glue and you're wanting to top up we still have bundles of the glue available from friday's show if you need any <laughs> So I'm just basically going around sort of the aperture here, here, all over. And we'll just pop our design onto this black card here. how different it looks as soon as you pop that black on
give it a chance to grab. Caroline Simblet says she uses Scotch removable tape. It never marks every single time. Good tip, Caroline. Thank you. Yeah, it's so easy. The envelope, you need to go back and watch Saturday Night's Live. It went so well. It was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And we made an album in like 30 minutes. Yeah, we needed to dress it and make it look very pretty. But the conceptually putting it together took me 30 minutes out of some envelopes. So go back and watch Saturday's show. You'll not be disappointed. It's so good. And if you've got lots of envelopes knocking around. And I, but I am live tonight and I am going to do another demo tonight as well because I like it so much. Can't get rid of me. You're never going to get rid of me. <laughs> you wash your tape. Yeah, that's low tack. So that's always a good shout. So we have sort of our decorative part there. This is why it's quite important that you try and get your die cut straight because it sort of throws your eye if it's not quite straight. Then we're just going to take our um, die cut pieces and we're going to 3D them out. But what we're going to do is we're going to sort of like spotlight them in the sense that those ones that are highlighted, raised, are going to be coloured. I'm going to add some colour. And another good technique for this is sort of if you heighten them at different heights. So on this one... If you do one pad, so if we do one on there, two on there, three on there, four on there, you sort of like get the sort of rise and fall, but you can do them at different heights with the pads. It looks quite cool. So I'm just going to pop this back in here. Now you can off slightly set if you want that shadow because that gives it a cool technique too. So personal preference, I'm just going to slot it back in though, best I can. And then our big one, I did actually tear that a little bit. I'm just going to pull it off because it's bugging me. Or have I already pulled it off? No. And then this one, <coughs> excuse me. Tonight's spring collection is quite um, spring-like, should I say. It's called spring collection for a reason. It's really uplifting. Lots of yellows and oranges and reds and greens. Really pretty. And I will be doing a giveaway. I've already got a giveaway for the spring collection, as I promised when we did our launch of our studio. But I'm going to do another one for tonight's live as well, so make sure you come and say hi, 7 o'clock. So you can see how cool it looks already. Doesn't it look cool? So sometimes just stepping out that box a little bit, changing up the design, using the die cuts. Your nesting die cuts are always a winner when it comes to techniques. Never get rid of your nesting dies. They're a core item in your stash. Make sure you don't stick it in upside down. Like so. And then our top one here. And just get a pad and pop cut it in half yeah extra postage if you build it up too high if you're watching your pennies with the postage And then we'll put our decorative element in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the elevated elements. Okay, so let's just move this to one side. So I'm just going to bring in some of the colour. That we used on the edge. So we've gone teal and orange, didn't we? So let's pick up some of the teal. see how we've highlighted that flower in there so let's do it in this one and then we'll do it in this one I 
and then in the center one we'll swap it out for that orange which we did on our background and it just ties it all together Now I've coloured the front and the back but if you just wanted to colour the front part absolutely there's no rules you colour what you want if you want to colour the whole thing you can absolutely do that if you want to colour the whole thing probably paint it before you use your dyes saves you having to get in all of the um, crevices I guess with the um, with the brush like so let me just clean this here And then I'm just going to grab, have you noticed that this stamp has no sentiments? I just feel like you've all got sentiments galore. So I really didn't want to um, put sentiments in here. I'd rather have had, do you know what I might do? I might pop that there so it balances out this here. Or let's have a look. Let's have a look, see if we've got a bigger one. Trying to make it soft, let's go there. Trying to make it easy on the eye. So I'm going to be with you all week this week. I am on TV though, I'll explain tonight, I am on TV. So one of the shows will have to get budged around a little bit. I think I'm going to leave that there. I like that a lot. So there we have card number one. I will hold it up at the end, but you can see how using those dyes in your stash could do with some sequins and some sparkle, couldn't it? Using your dyes in your stash, you're going to create lovely dimensional cards with a little bit of a twist. In fact, I'll hold it up. There we go. Hopefully you can see that one there. Wow, that's only that's amazing. Just a little bit different. Can we see that there? Super, super cool. So one way of using this flower stamp without it being that everyday flower stamp. So let's move on to demo number two. I feel like I'm like, ooh, sat. I can't see Simon's feet through the door yet, so I'm, I'm good. Right, let's do demo number two. Now, this is an easier demo, so maybe that one maybe was a little bit for you if you are a beginner crafter but I'm sure after you watch the video a few times you'll get it straight away but this one's a little bit of a simpler technique that gives a very clean and simple card but really really impactive so I'm just going to take some so I have a top folding note card pink again uh, matte and layering black and then my white and I'm just going to tape off some of the top here I'm going to go probably about here there we go. And I think what we'll do is we'll keep our cards in theme today. So let's stick with teal and orange today. And let's get some colour on here. So I've just masked that area off there so I can get some colour on to the top part of this card here. Now you could do a rainbow. You could be really creative with your colour. I'm just going teal, but absolutely go for it. It's whatever colour you love at home. Get lots of colour down, if you can. It doesn't look like there's much on, but when you take the tape away, you soon see there's lots of ink. Give it a nice brush. I'd like it to be way darker than that, though, so I need to keep going. Is it worth um, getting another colour? Let's try a different colour. Let's have a look at faded jeans. Salty ocean, we've got a few. Let's have a, have a go with these, see what these come out as. Oh, I think I'm getting a bit, there we go, I'm getting a bit more colour on now, look. That, I wonder if my other one's dry. There we go, you can see it's going on now. So 
So this one I'm using is Salty Ocean. So this is just a very basic masking technique. You see that there? So I'm just going to make it a little bit darker around the edges. Maybe faded jeans will allow me to do that, we'll see. Not so much, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So I've got like a little halo in the centre there, which I'm okay with because I think it'll add to our effect. And I'll show you the cards as well from the design team that have inspired me as well to do these cards today. Because as I've said, I am not full of knowledge and inspiration. Sometimes I need help too. There we go. So I'm going to leave that as is. So let me just add some splats to this because it's, it's screaming for splats, isn't it? So let's just add some water. So a wet brush, just cover that part of my card and we'll add some water on here. So this is just called a bleaching. So I'm just adding those splashes. I'm just going to let the water work its magic. Sounds like I've got an hamster in a wheel. <laughs> and then I'm just going to get some tissue. Love that card, Tony. Thank you so much. I'm just going to let it work its magic a little bit. And then all you do is you just pop your tissue on and soak up any excess water if there is any. Oxide pads work beautifully as well, though, Mark. You don't have to go out and buy the regular Tim Holtz. They all, they all really do work. Just clean this off here. Use what you have in your stash. The, the sort of Create Together Club isn't about you having to go out and buy more supplies to do the to do the class to do the follow along that would just be ridiculous so utilize what you have in your stash so whilst that's like it is let's just have it oh i don't know if, i think i'll stamp so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to pop it into my eureka and i'm just going to grab that flower stamp where have i done with it now here it is I'm just going to pop a piece of card across bottom because there's, it's inevitable there will be ink on here. And then I'm going to go big up here. Stamp this in black. And then I'm going to move the stamp and just catch a little bit more detail, maybe this side. A little bit lower. So there we have our detail on the top part of our card there. And then all I'm going to do is try and peel this away without a mucky paw print. Wish me luck, everybody. <laughs> the design team always do an amazing job. Let's just try not to get a paw print here. And when you pull it away, you get a beautiful, beautiful finish on your card there. So you can now... ...fine line it. So if you want to end it, you can sort of... Bring it together the line does that make sense so i'm just going to pop my plate on here like so and take my fine liner pen so 
sort of mount my work. You don't have to do this by the way, but I just think it just sort of like finishes the work there. I might pop another line in just for a decorative element more than anything. So I've got a double line there just to sort of create a little bit of um, interest in the card there. Let me just dry this off with my gun. This is just to try and stop those paw prints because I'm a nightmare. Would make nice headed stationery, it would, yes. A wedding invite, you could have this service or something at the base there. So then I'm just going to take Enjoy Your Day, just the stamp we've got, I've got in my stash here. I'm just going to pop it off to the side as straight as I possibly can. Stamp this one in a true black. So we've sort of finished our card there. So let's just bring, let's just take that off there because I think Simon will probably want to use my Eureka. Pop that under there. Let's just dry it. So this is in teal, but if you think about pinks and purples, yellows and oranges. this on our card so white onto a black I have got pink cards today which seems a bit random oh wrong one which seems a bit random with teal doesn't it but I think it looks okay I'm okay with it As soon as you pop it onto that black, it's where the magic happens. Let me just grab a piece of white card, keep it clean. You can see on this piece of paper now, look at all the mucky marks. That's what would have been on my card. Hey, question, question. If you did it as wedding station, you could photocopy it. You absolutely could. It's stuck. So different from the last card, I know. Well, that's that's the whole purpose of the Create Together Club is to try and give you so many different ways. So, if you are an advanced crafter, maybe hopefully you'll get a few tips. But if you're not, which is absolutely fine, um, you'll be able to take the whole inspiration and just work your magic even if it's just using the products that you have in your stash already you know because you pay for them so you need to get them used make sure that's straight and then I'll just go So I think we're good to go now. So that's two beautiful cards using the second 
stamp in your Create Together Club. I'll stand them both up in a second. I just like to make sure they're stuck. I don't like massaging my cards, I promise. So here we go. So I don't think that needs anything else. I think we should just leave it as it is to um, show it's true. Simplicity is key sometimes, isn't it? There we go. What do we think to those two? There we go. Same stamp. They don't even look the same stamp, do they? Uh, really, really pretty in design. So there we go, the end of class one. Now, if you are, if you have crafted along, don't forget to share your makes in our Eureka fan page. If you're waiting till later, that's absolutely fine. We do like to see if you're getting involved. That's the whole point of the Create Together Club. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. I am back with you with more ideas using the same stamp tomorrow at um, one o'clock. Don't forget, it's not too late to join the club. The inspiration never goes away. You can play catch up and we will get it sent out to you straight away if you do want to get involved. I am live with you tonight at seven o'clock in Studio Three, um, doing a product preview for brand new products launching over on Create and Craft on the 31st, a spring collection and it's beautiful. And I have a big giveaway. So whatever you're doing, Stay safe, stay cosy. Don't switch off right now, though, because in five minutes' time, Simon is live in studio with some more creativity for you. So you've got a beautiful day ahead of you if you are at home today. Whatever you're doing, have a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye.